Get ready to light up the night. Fox 12, your home for the Rose Festival, is proud to present the PGE Solve Starlight Parade. Here are your hosts, Wayne Garcia and Shauna Parsons. Oh, welcome everybody to this year's Starlight Parade. We look forward to it all year long. Look at all these smiling faces, people so excited for this incredible Portland tradition. The sun is almost all the way set here. We can still see some blue sky, but we see a lot of lights that have come on and a lot of excitement lining the sidewalks and the streets here in downtown Portland as another Starlight Parade is about to begin. It's a a thing that we look forward to all year. We do, and you know what? The people of Portland look forward to it too. This has been a tradition, Wayne, for more than 40 years in Portland. Welcome everybody, I'm Shauna Parsons. And I'm Wayne Garcia. We're gonna have a lot of floats, a lot of excitement, some surprises on the streets of downtown Portland tonight. One of the people taking it all in from ground level is our own Mark Nelson, standing by right now. Here we are, it's time guys, isn't it? Yes, yes. it is. I've got Kimberly Howard here from PGE, you excited? I'm excited, welcome <laughs> to the PGE Solve Starlight Parade. We have been powering your world for 130 years, or Oregon's world, and we're excited about the next 130 to help create a clean energy future for our customers, our community, and our environment. And hey, if you check out our entry, it's gonna be a 100% wind-powered electric bus by TriMet. Now, this is the important thing. If you want your own electric vehicle experience, then snap a photo, post it on Instagram, and make sure you tag PGE and TriMet and have your own experience. You can win. She's really excited. I'm really excited. Hey, it's time, isn't it? It's time. Let's go. go. PGE solves Starlight Parade. And we are so happy to have you along at home right now. It is a, really, it's a nice night. Oh, it is it's a perfect. little breeze going here. It's nice and cool. And we're gonna begin right here with the parade pace car. This is a Mercedes-Benz Cabriolet from the dealership right here in Portland. In fact, Mercedes-Benz of Portland was the very first Mercedes-Benz dealership in the United States. They're in the center of it all on NATO Parkway in downtown Portland. Beautiful car. Lighting the route for us tonight is the glowing Starlight Parade headlight. This uh, sparkling pace car was created by Ramsey Signs, a proud partner of the Portland Rose Festival, family owned since 1911. Ramsey Signs is the largest sign company in Oregon. I didn't know that. I didn't either. You always learn a lot when you do these parades too. A lot of the local companies, of course, take part and you find out a lot about what's going on with our, you know, Local I companies. agree, and these long-time businesses, you know, we really celebrate those businesses that have been such loyal, you know, Oregonians and Portlanders. 1911 for Ramsey Signs, that's really exciting. And we want to let you know, too, you're seeing the parade from the very beginning. Yes. So, you haven't, haven't missed, missed anything. anything. They, they kind of wait for us to begin here at 9 o'clock, kind of on the, kind of the edge, the yeah. end of the route. Yep. And so you get to see everything as it's happening there at home. And I, I know a lot of people look this every year as well. This is the, uh, coming into view now, the combined color guard from the Portland Police Bureau and Multnomah County Sheriff's Office. The folks will be standing for the passing of our nation's flag as we honor the Portland Police Bureau and Multnomah County Sheriff's Office Honor Guard. Pleased to see these two law enforcement agencies working together to provide the colors. Police Honor Guard units are staffed by officers and deputies who volunteer, by the way, for their positions. There's the color guard moving off to your right right now, out of view. Might hear the sound of a band right I now. I do, please, everyone welcome the 234th Army Band of Oregon National Guard. They're commanded tonight by Chief Warrant Officer Ashley Alexander and First Sergeant Tasha Cruz. And leading the way is Drum Major Staff Sergeant Jesus Cruz. And now we're looking at the Z100 iHeart Media float, KKRZ. This year's Z100 is brought to you, the club, the streets, the starlight with no age restrictions. Tonight we have John Jay and Rich with us and Kyle and Suzette from the morning show with Maui and Carson. The John Jay and Rich show has been entertaining the listeners of Z100 for over a decade now. You can listen every morning for Portland's original second date update and the hottest entertainment news right there. iHeart Media, KKRZ, and Z100 float. Second date update. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, right now, greet the hardworking president of the Portland Rose Festival Foundation, Terry Bowles Atherton. 
Terry leads the 56-member board of directors responsible for all aspects of Rose Festival events and programming. With her tonight are her husband, Jermaine, and daughter, Jade. And thank you, Terry, for all you do for the festival and our city. It's fun to be able to honor you tonight. They work so, oh, so hard, hard all year long. This is the Portland Rose Festival Court presented by Unitas Community Credit Union riding in the pink trolley here. This is uh, from Gray Line of Portland, the trolley. You can greet the 2019 Rose Festival Court presented by Unitas Community Credit Union. What you see here, 15 young women who've spent the past month traveling around the Portland area spreading the theme of the festival. The Portland Rose Festival Foundation awards each princess a $3,500 scholarship, which is courtesy of the Randall Group. That's great. And come and see who will be crowned the Rose Festival Queen. That'll be at the Queen's Coronation on June 8th, so a week from now, directly before the Grand Floral Parade. That's always a real exciting That's, time. And it's a very impressive group of young women. They work really, really hard. You know what? Mark Nelson has a very special guest right now. Oh, my goodness. The Clown Prince. I've got the Clown Prince. How are you doing, Angel? I am doing great, Mark. How are you doing? Good. How's the parade so far? The parade is fantastic. It's a great evening, a great crowd. I have my friend up here, uh, Diane Millman from uh, One More Time Back. Turn around. Hi, Diane. Diane. She's a special superstar, a super volunteer, super awesome people, and we're just having a great time today. A great evening. Excellent. So everything's going great so far, though, so that's good news, guys. I don't want to hold you up. You get going. Good. Thanks for the weather. What? Thanks for the weather. It's awesome. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mark controls all aspects of the weather. He so takes he, credit when it works he out, He does, though. yeah. Just don't blame him when it's bad. You know what? He, uh, we really lucked out tonight. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. You know what, everybody? Clap your hands and honk your noses for the Rose Festival Clowns right there behind the uh, cl Clown Prince, uh, presented by Jelly Belly. Celebrating their 12th year, the Rose Festival Clowns have been showing us all how to festival at events and parades for a dozen years. Look at those smiling faces. If you've ever dreamed of running away and joining the circus, you know what? Here's your chance to be part of the fun without ever leaving home. Watch the Rose Festival's website, rosefestival.org to find out how you can be a part of next year's Rose Festival Clowns. And as those clowns make their way through the streets, I just can't help but feeling this is part of what makes Portland so special. This it, is why people love the city so much. Absolutely, Wayne. And the fun thing about the Starlight Parade is it's a little irreverent, a little kind of wild and rowdy. You know, it's mm -hmm. nighttime. Everybody's all lit up. Um, it is so much fun, and the energy here tonight, I hope you can feel it at home if you're watching us because the energy is just exciting. It's so much fun. Yeah, you have the Junior Parade, which is, you know, more kid-oriented. Yep. And then you have the, the Grand Floral Parade, which is a little bit more formal. Yes. This is the chance to kick off the season kind of, yes. as you said, a little reverent, a little having fun, a little Let rowdy. your hair down a little. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, hey, you're looking here at the uh, Dragon Theater Puppets and Princesses. They're the magical puppets and princesses from the Dragon Theater. You can come visit these characters and more at the Kids Zone. That's, of course, in the Rose Festival City Fair area. This weekend will be science fiction and video games. Next weekend will be fairy tale and video games. So that's another reason to uh, head to City Fair and take in the sights and all the excitement. Yes, I saw Belle. I saw the Beast. I saw you know a lot of the kiddos in the uh, audience along the parade route right now. There's Belle and the Beast are probably so excited to see some of their favorite princesses. Oh, there's Snow White. Snow White, yeah. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun to watch them, and I'm sure the kids are just so excited. Is that Elsa or Anna back there? Maybe both I of them. I tell. think it's yeah, both, it's both of, of them. them. All right, now proudly representing the Central Oregon Coast is the Newport High School Marching Band. The Cubs are marching 75 strong today, made up of students grades 7 through 12. Uh, they march in the annual Newport Loyalty Days Parade, and this year was in the Iris Parade in Kaiser, Oregon. Let's listen into the band.
Oh, hey, we, I got Mo Show, the cat rapper here. How are you doing, man? Good, man. How are you? Great. Good. How are the cats? The cats are good. You know, <laughs> shout out to all my cat ladies. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. How's the parade this year? Oh, it's wonderful. You got all cat people here and everybody just having a bunch of wonderful times. I appreciate you guys so much. Cool guy, huh? I saw you here last year. You didn't have a cat last year. You don't bring them with you, right? I don't bring my cats because it's too loud and the noises will freak them out. Yeah. I want to let all my cat people know I appreciate them. Shout out to all my cat ladies. No, you drive me crazy. Oh, yeah, the cat ladies. <laughs> got that? That's you, Shauna. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice to meet you again. <laughs> Take care. Have a good parade. So that, that is I Am Mo Show, if you didn't catch that. The cat rapper representing all the cat people and animal lovers worldwide. Born and raised in inner Baltimore, Maryland, Mo Show defied the odds to build a name for himself as the Internet's premier cat rapper. He and his five cats now call Portland home. And he's on a mission to inspire the world, sharing with others the lessons he's learned to never give up on yourself and to follow your dreams. Oh, it's so fun to see the little faces. I mean, that could very well be her very first Starlight Parade, and she looks so excited. Well, you know, the Feral Cat Coalition of Oregon is on the prowl, debuting their new transport vehicle that'll help get more cats to their spay and neuter clinic. Pictured on the van is a kitty named Oscar, who's the 50,000th cat to use the spay and neuter services. This summer, the coalition will reach their landmark 100,000th cat. They'd like to thank the community for understanding the importance of spaying and neutering and for utilizing their no-cost services for feral cats and low-cost services for pet cats. They do really important work, and it's exciting to see their transport vehicle there it is. do even more of that work. It was a nice There's little cat Oscar. segment we've had here. We yes. had the cat wrapper and the feral cat. Hey, look at this. This is the Star Wars Oregon Marching Group. They call it the Forts is once again with us as Star Wars Oregon makes their 13th appearance, 13 in the Starlight Parade. Global Star Wars costuming organizations have more than 16,000 members. Mark Nelson is down there. I think he's trying to get a chat with one of those Star Wars characters. Let's see if he's well, kinda done tough. so. You know, those yeah. stormtroopers, you know, they don't mess around. Well, at least he's got a better <gasps> view. Mark, what do you think? Maddox, Maddox Kramer. Right, and what There's Princess Leia. Did you see her? Oh, yeah. Tough to miss her. You know, they do some really good work, too. They're, it's a lot of fun to watch them, but they raised more than $17,000 last year for charities through more than 2,000 hours of costumed appearances at 182 locations all throughout Oregon and Southwest Washington. Uh, Star Wars Oregon doesn't charge for their appearances, so they just ask that donations be made for charity, which is really cool. They've donated to Make-A-Wish, Dorm Becker Children's Hospital, Magic Wheelchair, among many others. Shawnee, you know, this is always one of my favorite oh my entries in the parade. I this agree. one goes on and on and on because they have such a strong membership. It is the one more time around again, marching band presented this year by Standard TV and Appliances. They always do. So they're celebrating 35 years of fun. They are the largest all adult marching band in the entire country. They were formed by the Portland Rose Festival Foundation back in 1984 and first marched in the Starlight and Grand Floral Parades back in 1985. Now listen to this, 400 plus members in this band. The ages range from 18, so fresh out of high school, to 87. It's amazing. 87, and they've been marching down the urban canyons of Portland every spring and every since. They love music. They didn't want to give it up when they left high school or when they left college. They said, hey, what do you say we uh, just put our talents to good use and we entertain the folks at the same time? I love this. I think it is the best thing ever. Portland is so unique in so many ways. But this, one more time again, a round again marching band is really special. Two blocks long of these band members. Two blocks. And so the theme, of course, this year for the is Let's Festival. And so this is two blocks long. And as you can see, they got the tie-dye colored T-shirts and they're looking good, and as soon as the band gets just a tad bit closer, we'll let you listen to them. Absolutely. But uh, I'm always inspired. I, I always say I want to join them, but I guess I couldn't do the play. Well, you were in the band, right? I was in the band. What did you play, the trom Trombone. Yeah. All right, let's listen in, because okay, now we, we can really hear them.
All they want is a little R S R E S P E C T, right? That's how you spell it. That's how you yes. spell it. Well, they have mine. Man, they, it is so fun. That tie dye was such a great call. It just lights up in the night right now. So fun to watch. Can't help but smile. Okay, we are just getting started. We have so much more for you sitting at home tonight. Don't go away. We're going to take a quick break, though. We'll be back with more of the PGE Solve Starlight Parade.